Hi, this is Farrell Dalrymple, and this is the next set of daily drawings. It's uh, numbers 303, which is this one here, the Fox guy, the tarot cards, and uh, goes through 30, 335, so I've done 30 in a week. I was catching up because I got somehow got really behind on these, but I'm all caught up now, and uh, yeah, this first one is one of the last tarot cards I did, which I'll be wrapping up in this segment here. Um, you can see here is the finish, and then right here it, I added <laughs> some drop shadows and darkened his face a little bit and I kind of wish I had left it alone but what are you gonna do uh, this next one here is the three of pentacles that last one was a two of pentacles uh, and this one I, I really loosely based it on the the I guess the idea of the rider weight deck of there being uh, three figures standing around this some kind of uh, I wasn't exactly sure what it was, it was some kind of device so I just kind of went, you know, leaned into the sci-fi fantasy aspect pretty hard. <laughs> it was like, okay, this is in the Wrenchy's world or whatever. So there's some kind of machinery that the guy on the left created, I'm assuming here. Um, but yeah, I, I like it. it I don't know. It's, it came out okay. Uh, this next one here is the Four of Pentacles. And, uh, yeah, again, I kind of loosely based it off the Rider weight deck, but, um, you know, give my little anthropomorphic creature. I guess it's some kind of, like, uh, the idea is that he was kind of, like, hoarding his gold. So I don't know exactly what the meaning behind that is of, like, oh, uh, he's, he's good with his money, but then I guess in the reverse side is that that can kind of be, a, you know, saving and not, you know, being... Uh, you know, it has a good side and downsides, I guess, being frivolous. And <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I, like I said, I'm not a, I'm not an expert on the tarot, but um, I just kind of tried to keep it in the spirit of the, of whatever the the uh, the writer weight deck was mostly. Um, I know there's different versions and stuff, but it's kind of what I'm modeling is after. Um, so this next one here is the uh, five of pentacles, and this one I you know, I looked at the original. You know, it was like the the hobbled figure and then the impoverished figure. Um, I, uh, I don't know, hobbled, I handicapped. I'm sorry. I don't know if that's the right, uh, description for that exactly, but I, I wanted it to feel a little more, uh, I don't know, bleak or something. So I just kind of made the figures a lot smaller than I normally would. Usually I try to fill up the whole space of the cards because, especially because these are so small, they're only like four inches square. So, um, yeah, it, it's it's fun, more fun for me, I guess, to draw like a figure filling the space versus doing something. But I, I don't know, something about that. I liked all the negative space around it. And this next one here, uh, the the drawing especially is like, you know, one of my favorites here. Like When I did the finish, I wasn't as crazy about it, which happens sometimes. But um, yeah, I really like the initial, especially the, the shrew, the face of the shrew. I, I see a lot of uh, shrews in my yard or basically, you know, I've rescued a couple from my cats. <laughs> it's, it's really sad because they're so cute and stuff. But um, yeah, I just thought it was like, oh, if this is like this gardener, you know, she's like gardening these uh, coins, I guess. Um, I decided like, oh, I'll put in a shrew because I see those guys. And something weird happened with the paint. I don't know if I had it mixed, but you kind of see in the background there, I was kind of having, you know, having some trouble with it. But then it ended up coming out kind of decent, you know wasn't exactly what I intended originally. Um, yeah, this next one here is a, a nine of pentacles. And this is another example of that where I really like the sketch, but the finish kind of wasn't exactly what I was originally intended, but I'm ha happy with it overall. But sometimes I feel like they're stronger when I add the color, but a lot of times there's something really nice about the pencil sketch that I'm just kind of like in love with that it always gets lost. And then I guess the hope is that I can kind of pull back whatever the strength of it with the inks and the giving it a finished quality to it, but still keeping that whatever that energy or that, you know, line quality was with the pencils. But um, yeah, I, I, I like the colors and stuff on that last one. But uh, this one here was uh, I think I redrew before I even took the pictures of the, of the sketch. I think I redrew this a few times. I kind of based it off the Rider Waite deck is the composition and stuff. But um 
like there was like a father figure in the foreground with these like a guard and a, a female in the background a little kid trying to so i just turned into like a witch city basically <laughs> like all these like wizards and witches kind of hanging out and uh you know i think i put an extra greyhound in there someone uh a couple people commented me about this one uh a buddy of mine saw it on Instagram was he liked the pencil sketch better, <laughs> which I think he's said that to me a couple of times, you know, which I totally agree with. But um, someone else mentioned to joust and yeah, that was definitely something I was thinking of. Also, Arzak, the Mobius character has this like flying beast. So I kind of did a combo of the joust, the old Atari video game. And yeah, and this one here, uh, it's I think it might be the last tarot card or one of the last ones, but um yeah, I definitely uh, used a, a photo of Ruth Bader Ginsburg as a inspiration for this, but it's not a portrait. I even I, I think I changed her glasses and gave her earrings and stuff. And I don't know if she has an affinity or affection or she had an affection for for Labradoodles, but I, a friend of mine has one. So I threw one of those in and a cat just because I like cats. And I don't know, it just something about that just felt fitting of like, oh, I'm going to use her as like inspiration for that card. And I hope the person that asked for that Queen of Pentacles like like that. But I did that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but uh, this next one here, so just in an effort to save time, because I was having to double up. A lot of these days I did like three or four. And one crazy day I did like ten. But, um, yeah, just in an effort to, to get – I had a couple of sketches and books that I had to do. And I don't, I don't normally scan these. I, I usually just take a picture of them. But – just because I was including them as the daily drawings and I'm gonna put this in a book, I decided to like scan them all. So you have like a nice uh, shot of it there at the end. Um, the first one was Sinclair from Popkin War, which you can see the copy of right here. And this one here is this robot boxer. Uh, I call him the Lostronaut because he's like an astronaut. Frank Jean is his name. Kind of model him after my buddy James Jean. He's an amazing artist, which I'm sure you're all aware of. But um uh, yeah, this is like a cyber boxer in that story. So I just uh, included him as the sketch for that book. These next four are all from the requested by the same person. And they're all kind of mythological creatures. And so first one I've heard of before is like a, a West African trickster god. Uh, Anansi, I think is the name where you say his name, but um, or its name. But um Normally, I noticed most images of him were you know, kind of more of like a human form or some kind of more anthropomorphic, you know, hybrid type thing. And I just kind of went for like a more of a monster thing and added some flames and stuff. And this one, too, uh, this was uh, it's, um, uh, what is it? N Nuska, I think. Nuska or Nusku. It's a Assyrian god, which I had a hard time finding a reference for this guy. Because uh, there was a couple of like old artifact type you know like stone tablets that were just a lamp and it's like oh that's that guy but there's very little about him on the internet so i just kind of sort of modeled after this okay ancient assyrian fashions which was really hard to find good reference for that too so i just kind of modeled after that and yeah mesopotamia babylonia all that stuff i think people are just kind of like you know it's like uh through a, a glass darkly or whatever with that kind of stuff it's just like not a lot of uh, photo reference <laughs> available for that time period. Uh, and this one is uh, Saraswati is an Indian uh, deity. Um, uh, yeah, I don't, I didn't know. There's a lot, plenty of, of reference photo for that. So I just kind of modeled it after some different things. And this is a, a Norse goddess. Uh, saga, I think is the way you pronounce that. It's spelled saga with a little accent on there and uh yeah not a lot of images of her either but um you know it was kind of fun getting you know i put a little a raven in there to kind of symbolize odin because she is like a had a relationship with him um i don't mean like a i don't i mean i know these are all just made up people anyway but uh speaking of made up people this is um allegorical and uncle al these two characters by luke honey who's uh fella I know that's in Seattle I met and great guy and asked me to draw his characters for the 2020-2020 so uh yeah I did them both uh in the same within the same hour I think as far as the inking and the coloring go and these are fun to draw I love drawing people's doing fan art for people <laughs> especially if it's not something that's like you know a Marvel comic or something which you know I like doing that stuff too but I think that gets a little uh, 
to, um, uh, I don't know. I, I, I like it better just if it's some, like an independent character, that someone I know that's like, Hey, draw my character. It's like, okay, cool. That'd be fun. Uh, yeah. So I think those came out pretty cool. Uh, this next one, uh, someone requested on my Patreon that I drew a Bob Dylan portrait and I was like, ah, no more portraits, please. But, and they were like, well, how about a space vampire? And, uh, it's like, okay, that sounds fun. And I think it came out it was pretty decent. It's a lot of fun to do. Uh, same with this. Someone requested me to draw a spaceship. And so I decided to use Hollis from Proxima Centauri and kind of did this sort of hot roddy looking spaceship. I even thought about adding some text on there, but um, I don't know. I, I kind of based it off some Mobius, some paint paintings that he's did of spaceships that, you know, the Adina stuff. And, um, and this next one actually is a, an older sketch. I did it a couple of years ago. Someone asked me to do a, a Cornelius drawing and I never did it. And I forgot even who asked me to do it. So I just, uh, just in desperation, trying to get so many done in a day. I think this is the day I did like 10 of them. I, uh, I just, I grabbed that old sketch and was like, oh, let's do this as a daily drawing. And, uh, you yeah, know, someone asked for it right away. Uh, it's like, uh, yeah, you know, it's Planet of the Apes. So Dr. Cornelius, you know, from Planet of the Apes, there's a paper airplane scene. This one uh, here, I don't have this as a, a, a daily drawing. I just included this in the thing because I, I was attempting just to do a drawing without penciling at first again just to see if I could just do that in 20 minutes just go without penciling but I just I wasn't happy with it so I just decided to ditch it and then on the back side I drew this I think this is the one I drew on the back side it's a uh, this character who I named Brisson in Proxima Centauri because he's got it on his on his uh you know armband or whatever it says Brisson which I I must have Ed Brisson the the writer and um I think he's a colorist too, but uh, he's a guy in Vancouver. Does, does he's a great writer? I mean, I like his comics a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember the name of one that I really like. Sheltered or um, uh, it's like it's, a, it's like a pre-apocalyptic tale they did with Johnny Christmas that I thought was excellent. Um, yeah, this one here. Uh, so I just he's just in like a scene with like another guy that you'll see in a bit too, where he talks about wanting to, uh, rip Hollis's throat out. Cause, <laughs> uh, I don't know. There, it cracks me up. It's a, it's a couple of my favorite pages in the book. Um, I'm being really self-congratulatory here, but it's not like anyone bought the, I mean, very few people bought that book. So <laughs> I know it was kind of a stinker in the sales department, but I just have reread it recently a couple of times and I really liked it. So whatever. Uh, this, this one here, these next one, next, next bunch are all just, uh, sort of kids that from the wrenchies, it will all hurt world. I just decided I got to get these done, man. I, it was, it was getting real late and it was, you know, so I just started, uh, I just got to draw something fun. You know, I don't care if anyone buys these or not. I mean, I would like people to buy them, but <laughs> I mean, if they don't, that's fine. I just, I'll just make a bunch of little drawings that are fun for me to do. And, um, right. I just posted them all like yesterday or the day before but I was able to catch up so here I just did two in a row here without even stopping the camera this this guy here this little dog battle axe guy <laughs> and uh this one who I, I I remember the name of the group but I kind of based the girl's face and her hat and stuff off a like a hip-hop band that I just saw a picture of online I was like oh, I kind of like her look so I just, she should be carrying hammers or uh so and this next one here same thing it's another kind of like wrenchy's kid and kind of imagining all these guys are in the same gang or something <laughs> uh maybe there's too many anthropomorphic creatures or something but uh i don't know uh i was pretty happy with the way those guys came out especially for like got them all in under the 20 minute mark or uh, roughly around the 20 minute mark this is the other guy from that you can see the spread there on the left and that spread i was talking about with brisson and i actually didn't have a name for this guy but he's in the same scene he has like speaking parts and um I think he shows up too at the end of this issue just in like one panel where he's like criticizing uh orson <laughs> uh i just wanted a couple of guys that felt like i don't know a couple of dudes i might know in like junior high or something that i'd be like you know just not super good friends with but just like chit chatting with you know like oh hey but you know we're on the first name basis but we're not like we don't hang out that was kind of the vibe i was going for in that scene and this next guy here is an, another old drawing that I had. I had I actually penciled this at the beginning of the year when I was doing all the characters from the Wrenchies and other books of mine. 
And he's one of the guys, he's like basically the front man for that weird band. And I did this uh, pencil sketch for it at the beginning of the year, and uh, no one requested it, so I just kind of put it on the shelf. And uh, same thing with this one. I had a, like a, a raven sketched out, and no one, uh, I had a post on my Patreon, and no one, it was one of the few that no one responded to, so I um, just kind of like, oh, I'll just put this later. I don't know if I'll ever do it, but I'll just keep doing the ones that people want to do, and just trying to catch up. I was like, oh, I got to get this done. So I just added, uh, you know, I was like, oh, I already got this sketched out. I'll just ink it. And then I added a little Robot Todd sitting on top to sort of thematically go with the the Robot Todd month I did a while back, uh, Toddtober. <laughs> uh, yeah. And this next one here, so I was a couple days late with this. Hopefully the guy still wants it, but someone on Patreon requested that I do um, on the 333rd day, which was November 28th, to do an angel, um, because uh, I think that's like angel day, or 333 is the number of angels, but um, I'm not sure. This is another one that was requested. Someone like, oh, I like your robot Todd drawings that you did. Can I get one of those with the lion? And I like sunflowers too, so I just put them all together. And that might be my, like my favorite one that I've done in this batch. <laughs> and I, I did it, you know, fairly quick, maybe like, I think within an hour I did it. Um, this one I had, you, know, you can see the little clock going there. I, I think I did it like 25 minutes. That's it for this time. Uh, check out the Instagram Feral Dal if you want to uh, see where this goes. I got a month left. Um, thanks a lot.